I have a strong reputation when it comes to training children. So I told Jato that I think you and your family have definitely conspired to ruin what I've spent millions of time, dedicated my life to build. My foundation is Kit Hall of Talent Foundation. It is not Parent Hall of Talent Foundation, so there's no place for you here. It is over. That night, I drank so much alcohol, my children have never ever seen me drink that way. And I was so devastated. When everybody slept, I got up in the morning, Jato got up and dry cleaned the floor and disappeared. It then became a burden to me. I called to find out from the parents if they had seen Jato. Nobody had a trace of Jato. I was more traumatized than ever before. I had to start seeking tech experts to see if they can track Jato's number and get to her. I contacted a couple of people online. Mr. Zo Bruno is a tech expert, a, an ethical hacker. He was based in South Africa, Johannesburg. I hope he's watching this uh, press conference and he, he'll be able to testify about this. I explained everything to him and told him how confidential he was. He was a person that traced Jato using his hacking skills and got to Jato. And he explained to me that Jato is highly traumatized. And if I don't receive Jato well, it might cause a crisis. I contacted other parents of the Forest Children Band and explained the situation to them. And they were like, it is better we accept the child. We are, first of all, in a crisis region, a crisis situation where children are suffering. And what if my own daughter got pregnant? What am I going to do? That is a question all of them posed. Moreover, the minister had passed a communique that if children, if girls get pregnant in schools, they should be allowed to study to when they, have to, when they give birth and they can go for a maternity leave. And so if I abandon Jato, this same world that is trying to condemn me today should have said I, I was, I, I was hard-hearted. After all, I could still leave her, she goes and gives birth, comes back and continues her life and still picks up the music. What would she think about me? abandoning her at the most difficult point in her life. Moreover, if Jato went out there, something happened to her, all the blame would have been on me because all the press here knows Jato and knows about Jato's manager. So I called Jato and begged her to come and promised her that I have heard the real story, I'm not going to abandon you. That story that has given you that trauma and pain, I am going to make sure that I will convert it from pain to gain, from shame to an inspiration. And when the parents begged me and gave me the reasons why they feel that I should not expose the story, I equally felt it was imperative because at that time, Jato was about, Jato was trending in the country. If you listen to what the moderator read here, you discover that in the year 2022, Jato won a lot of awards and did a whole lot of things. I saw Clemento posting this. I immediately called the parents. The parents were like, please, you know how much this story hurts this child. You know the pain and the trauma Jato has gone through and how the promises we've made to her. I personally know that when I see things like this, it hurts you too. Let's try to still give some time. I tried to make it sound as if it was a burst. But the, the, the level at which it was going I had to coerce her. I had to get legal advice. And even my legal team called her and made her understand the importance of passing out this story. I said, I'm not going to pass out this story just through a Facebook uh, uh, post, as they are saying. But Jato is going to stand out here. And that's why we invited the national and international press. We invited NGOs. We invited activists to come and hear the story. Because I think it is time for the world to hear that children are victims of crimes. And it is time for us to understand what is actually happening here and to know that in that part of the Northwest region, there are children that are victims of a situation and we are trying to give them hope.